Hey guys, so today we're creating another bait cake. We're gonna be creating Deadpool from the hit movie Les Miserables. Oh, have you seen it? No? Neither have I. <laughs> I'm joking, but I am excited for Deadpool 2. I have a good feeling about this movie, you guys, so I'm, I'm just excited. I love Deadpool, I love Ryan Reynolds, that booty. Don't quit, you guys, so let's get started. The first thing I did was draw Deadpool. Now I decided to draw the Deadpool from the movie as opposed to the comic book. I love Ryan Reynolds as his character. I feel like this is what he's like in real life. And because the character is so meta, I think it just adds to what we're already seeing on screen. Now to create this cake, I'm using red velvet cake because it matches the Deadpool suit. Place the template on top and then using my sidekick paring knife, meatball, I just started to cut out the basic bang shape. Now at the beginning of all bake cakes, they go through almost the exact same process. So if you've seen one, then you've probably seen them all. Especially since the footage is recycled. Now after I cut out the shape, I added some buttercream into the middle of the cake. And I just spread it out using my offset spatula. Now the marketing for Deadpool movies is so inventive. For Deadpool 2, my favorite piece of marketing was the Celine Dion music video. Ugh, I almost cried. The song that Celine Dion sings is called Ashes and it sounds like a James Bond song. It really sounds like it fits into the realm of like the Skyfall by Adele or Writings on the Wall by Sam Smith. And when I was watching the music video, I was like, this is really good music and then I s the he started to dance, Deadpool, oh gosh. <gasps> uh, so good. It's a great song. It's a better song than I think it has any right to be. And the dancing in it is fabulous. If you haven't seen it, there's a link in the description box. The layers of incredible are just astounding. <laughs> After I filled the middle of my cake with buttercream, I added the second layer and just started to carve away at the shape. Surrounding out the head and his limbs and then making sure that they're all separate. Now in the first Deadpool movie, they reference a lot of the old bad superhero movies that Ryan Reynolds has been a part of, like the Green Lantern. And I didn't think the Green Lantern was bad. It wasn't super terrible. It was I don't know. It's hard for me to talk about terrible movies sometimes because I know that behind the scenes a lot of people worked really hard. Even though they like created trash. <laughs> I gave this baby a crumb coat and then a fix it coat just so I could fix all the places where I carved away too much or where I didn't emphasize the shape enough. I placed this into the fridge for about 30 minutes and while it was chilling I was YouTube and chilling and I was watching Zoe's Fancy Cakes. She made a Deadpool cake too. What the heck? It looks so good. Go watch it. It's in the description box. Comment and spam her with Koali Pop sent me. That'd be kind of cool. I took my cake out of the fridge and I added on a large piece of red fondant. It's so funny. I don't even have this like table background anymore. I like changed my entire set. This footage is so old. <laughs> like I got like this wood table and I made all of these decorations for you guys. It is over budget. I am overworked, but it looks pretty bomb. If you'd like to see a video of all the things that I created, then let me know in the comments and I'll make that for you guys. Now, just using my hands and some carving tools, I just separated his head from his body and made sure there was definition in between each of his arms. Then I used the meatball to cut away all of the excess fondant. I'm gonna draw him digitally because it wouldn't it be cool to have like a cartoon of Kali Koala in like the superhero cape and then there's like Meatball, the sidekick. Wait, I'm envisioning something you guys, it'll be in the next video, I'll show it to you. It looks so cool! Now I gave him pecs because Ryan Reynolds' chest is huge. Ryan Reynolds is so ripped in this movie. It's like he went to the gym to get muscles 
and then his muscles went to the gym to get even more muscles. Now after I added his chest, I added some fondant pieces to create all of Deadpool's features. If you want to recreate this, I uploaded my printouts in my Bay Cakes folder on the Quali Pops Facebook page. You can find it there with all of the other Bay Cakes I've created thus far. Let me do that right now because I'm probably going to forget later on. Captain America is still not even on the Facebook page. Let me do that now. Okay, they're all uploaded. Yay, I remembered. I forgot before. Now you can remake this for your family, for your friends. Shout out to Blake Lively. Can't believe you nailed that down. Good for you. Now this is an extremely form-fitting suit, so I decided instead of adding fondant pieces to some places, I would just create more detail and definition using some sculpting tools. Then I added a very small Deadpool symbol. This was really hard to make because I had to make sure that the eyes were even, that the black was just a little bit smaller than the red that was on the outside. <sighs> but I did it, and it looks pretty good. Now I just added Deadpool's eye detail. Using my sculpting tool, I just added four lines to give his mask more character. Now for this entire cake, I used magic sauce to glue all of my fondant pieces together, except for the eyes. I wanted to make sure that they were interchangeable, so that I could give him like regular eyes, and then maybe he was angry, and then he was like, oh I'm so in love with that, and then he was like, are you for serious, and then it was a tee hee. <laughs> <laughs> and voila, my Deadpool bake cake is complete. The suit has like no wear and tear. It looks like he just took it out of the Bloomingdale's box that he bought it from. I wish you could buy this at Bloomingdale's. Can you? If you want to see more of my bake cakes, I have an entire playlist in the description box, as well as an Avengers cake compilation that features all of my Avenger bake cakes. Before anyone else, I only make the characters that come before anyone else. I'm curious, who do you think I should turn into a bake cake next? I'm thinking that I want to do a YouTuber because there are a lot of YouTubers I really like. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!